Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to another Airsoft Techniques video. Uh, today I want to talk briefly, just want to go through the admin reload for a gas blowback pistol. Now, this is um, this is what in the British military we would just call this a load. Simple, just the word load, because you're going from a gun that is totally empty to putting ammunition into it rather than a reload where you have just had ammo in it and you've emptied that and you're just switching out a magazine, but you know, it's, it's all semantics. Now, for Airsoft, a lot of people, generally what I see at games, um, I go to a skirmish and people step out of the safe zone and they've got their, they've, you know, they've probably put, already put a magazine into their, um, their rifle and they'll, they'll take their sidearm out of the holster They'll grab a magazine and generally what they do is something along the lines of they just down here got a sidearm, they've got the mag, slap it in, rack the slide. In this case it's 1911 so I would hope you put the safety on and they reholster. Now this is airsoft, it's like that. Doesn't matter, yeah that's fine, but the reason, the reason this might carry over is that if you just step out the safe zone, you grab your guns and then you load like this, then I can pretty much bet money right now that if, if you're loading like that, then when it comes, then when you know you're, uh, you're in the middle of the game and there is there's people all, all around you shooting BBs at you trying to tag you, then you'll be far and away. It comes a slide lock because you've emptied your magazine, you drop out that one, you grab a fresh one, and then when, you, uh, when you're when you doing a reload, you, you can bet right now, it'll come down here, insert magazine, press a slide release, and carry on from there. Now, as I said, it's not life or death, but if, if you're always reloading here, what can you see over there? All I can see is my boots, to be honest see the ground it's not it's just not beneficial for your, your situational awareness you, you know some guy I could be here some guy could pop up there might be a corner just right there and some guy could pop up put his head around the corner right there and be like bang bang and you know that's me that's me out out of the game and I don't know about everyone else out there you know when I'm a skirt when I'm at an airsoft game I don't care really whether I win or lose but I would prefer to at least you know, manage to tag out a few people, get a few hits, rather than constantly being hit myself. And it's nice to, you know, that, that's why, if you, know, if you didn't care about that, then why would you even, why would you even carry a weapon in the first place? You know, the, the objective of, of, these, uh, of these replicas is to shoot beanies at the other guy and hopefully take him out. So, go quickly walk through a good admin load when you've just come out the safe zone because obviously you're not going to be loading your weapon in the safe zone. Uh, so as you can see there is a I've got one BB in this magazine but I don't have any gas in it so uh, hence why I'm not oh, I grow one. So it's totally a, there's, a, there's no chance this thing could fire otherwise if there was any you know, semblance of a chance if this mag had any gas in it, I'd have a wipe roll. So, like I say, the, the first thing to do when you come to an admin reload or a load, whatever you want to call it, weapon comes out. I mean, if you, if you want to, if you want to practice your draw, get that one more repetition in, build that little bit of muscle memory, then just get in your stance, go and draw, and go for the full, you know, don't just grab it out and you know come come up to here actually imagine you've got your rifle in hand putting that down to the side with your action hand holster you know out the holster get your good firing grip out apply your sight picture as if you were about to fire then break it down back up into your workspace and this is where you're going to do everything so here's your pistol first thing check it's clear there's no such thing as an extractor or ejector in an airsoft gun. Once the BB's in the hop unit, which is effectively the chamber, 
you some guns you can rack it, rack it, rack it, and sometimes it'll fall out. This particular one it does not work. Um, especially if you've got an upgraded hot rubber in there, it will hold that BB in. So um, you, need, you need to know what the state of your weapon is. So we're gonna rack, rack, rack. If um, you know, if depending on the gun, maybe a BB will fall out. If it doesn't, either way, it doesn't matter. Lock the slide, spin it around. What you want to do is find the sun, generally, or a light bulb, whatever source of light may be. Point the barrel straight at it, then look down. See, I can see, I can see the shine um, down the barrel. You see the reflection of the glint of what little sunlight we have today shining on the metal inside the barrel. And um, if you've got a, <laughs> if you've got, if you've not quite locked your slide, is firm as you might uh, perhaps should have then that will happen but anyway I can see light down the barrel that's what I want don't look for a BB because if you look for a BB then you might see a BB and go oh yeah, yeah and then carry on look look for that empty hot unit look for the light look for the reflection on the metal so now I know there's no BB in the barrel or in the hot unit I haven't got a magazine in I've checked you know, I'm aware of that already so now, let the slide go forward, press out, fire up the action, so that you know, you know, you're not going to be straight away, because if you lock the slide back, insert a magazine, then release, then you, you know your safety isn't applied, and yet the hammer's down, the action's cocked, you've got a loaded magazine and a beam in the chamber, and that's not a good combination, generally. Now, even if you're not in so sound, it's, it's not really what you want. So, Pressed out with fire of the action. Now break it back down. Go for the magazine. Get a good index. Always, you know, it's far easier if you. I've talked about this before in other videos. If you're holding a magazine down here, it's like this, which I see a lot of people do, then it's a lot harder to insert. Rather than if your fingertip is right up there, then you just line it up with the bottom of the pistol grip, the magwell, and you just insert easy as that. So, you're up in the workspace, fire off the action, magazine, get the index. When it comes to the insert, again, you're practicing with the weapon up here, so you do maintain that situational awareness. And it just gets you that, it gets you into the habit of it, so that, as I talked about before, when it comes to the game, you're not always being down here. Index, insert, what you want to do is open, basically, Go from this and open your hand out as you as the magazine is going into the magazine housing. And what this enables you to do is get a good firm press with your palm. You don't need to be doing all this because you especially in SL, you probably break something or or I mean in the real world that'll probably dislodge the top round. It could be dislodge the top BB and you'll get a BB stuck up in the action of a weapon. That's not ideal either. So we're up, index, insert, firm, press, press it. You don't need to push it. Made that initial press, that should be all you need. If you've done it right, you won't need anything else. And away, that's it. You don't, again, don't need to be like, none of this, bang, 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 none of this shit. So that means the magazine's in. Staying up in the correct space. Good firm hold. Rack it. Don't. Don't do that old classic, you know, and pull it back and then like slowly, slowly ride it forward because you can pretty much something guarantee something will bind up and uh, you don't want that. So um, you've charged gun, you've now moved that top BB in the magazine up into the hop unit. So you're good to go, apply the safety. And then, uh, or I mean, it's going to depend on the weapon, but you could, at this point, holster and, you know, you're good to go. What I would do, self, is there are, there are a couple of checks you can do. If you want to be certain, you need to be 100% sure that the gun is loaded, there are two main things you can do. Firstly, is that rather than applying a safety at that point, which on a 1911 would prevent the slide from moving backwards, what you can do is just, uh, I'll bring this up close. Now, you can't chamber check in airsoft because 
when, in, with the real thing, if you pull that slide back a little bit, you would see you would see the glint of brass just uh, just there as the round is partially extracted from the chamber. Now you won't see a BB, but with a, when the gun is loaded, rather than a gap, you will see, I'm not sure what part that's called, but you will see that plastic part and it is mated up with the chamber part of the barrel. If that's forward there, then you know the gun's good to go. Let the gun go. If Now what's happened here is that the slide is out of battery at the moment. You can see that. Now it's slipped back in. It, um, again, this, this is all to do with if, if you don't fully withdraw it. So if you pull back ever so slightly and then ride it forward. There we go. Look at that. Out of battery. And uh, if I could, you know, the, the, if I pull the trigger now, nothing would happen. So give it a, give it a tap. So it is in battery. Apply a safety cap. And again, or the second check. What you would do is look at your magazine before you go through the load. Just have a look at where that that bottom BB is sitting. You'll see whether it's on the left or the right side because they double stack. Then you can look at the magazine, insert rack, withdraw it again, and it will switch from the left to the right as long as a BB has been fed into the pop unit. So there's your two checks. You've got your, your chamber check of sorts where you just put your hand up on the front of the weapon, small press to the rear, look for that nozzle part being mated up with the chamber, let it go, look for that slide being out of battery if it is, forward assist, just a slight tap forward, it's not going to damage your gun. Um, safety catch on whenever you're not needing to move the slide, or you've got, like I said, the old left right. You'll see the BB um, they stack up in the zigzag pattern. Check it, say it's on the left side, insert rack, right side, there we go, good to go.